Welcome everybody back to another bold cast reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Cyberpunk Edge Runners episode five. Lucy and David are very cute. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. And, and Rebecca's brother's dead. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see what happens this episode. Leave a like and subscribe. Check out mm -hmm. Patreon right now to get on cuts and a week ahead it's at least. You could see how far ahead we are. Hope you enjoy most of all. Let's go. Give them a whirl. Nah, kind of my price range. Becca gave the nod. They all yours. No strings. I wouldn't want those. Mm -hmm. They're techie mitts anyways. No, oh, now you're just being picky. Got my heart set on something else. How would it then? The moon. Wait, me and mine? <laughs> big for you, ain't they? Nothing I can't handle. All right then, I flatline, they're all yours. Well, don't, don't go saying it like that. Ain't no different from yesterday. No, something is. You got laid, didn't you? <laughs> you did. <laughs> Tanaka? Don't you remember baby's first Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> baby's first Grand Theft Auto. Why? Here, you and Tanaka's kid, classmates. Mm. Oh, what? Kiwi, are you accusing our punk kid of going to some stiff ass corp school? I <laughs> Arasaka Academy dropout. I didn't think of that. You two ever hear of a little thing called privacy? No. There's not much else of interest on Tanaka's personal drive. A lot of noise, a lot of trash. SBDs in his viewing log. Yo, hold up. Kinks are no doubt, but more into gore than porn. Some cyber cycle virtues too. <laughs> Suits always thirst for the creepy shit. A lot of BBs tuned by someone named JK. JK? Mm. Ring ding ding? Yeah, Jimmy Kurosaki. Well, I'll be damned, kid. Didn't pay me for a super freak. <laughs> no, I <laughs> just helped a Joe move his stock is off. But you know anything that'd actually be useful? Mostly does custom made. What's that? The expenders expect exclusives, so JK tells <laughs> the dance is special. You know, removing pain limiters and stuff. Tanaka's gotta be there, physically present, and probably alone. Alone? How you figure? Would you bring your bodyguard to a fetish XPD tuning? Got a point. <laughs> pretty sharp, dog. No surprise now that you a man. <laughs> a man? What I miss? <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> Let's move. Dripped out. <laughs> He's on the move. Huh? Hey, don't tell me you're not the Jimmy Kurosaki, are you? Who's asking? Uh, knew it. Knew it was you. Totally. Huge fan, sir. Is that right? Can I shake your hand? Uh, uh sorry. <laughs> Guess I'm a little starstruck. I have somewhere to be, so if you... Uh, yeah. Uh, Watch I'm out! Too, but... <laughs> this would fry them out. He's a badass. <laughs> Work like you bash your computer <laughs> yeah, a few exactly. times. What the you hell take I... David. Uh, they're gone. Who's gone? JK took David with him. It's like shit. Yeah, yeah, be a good one. Stay, Lucy. It's you and me. <clears throat> oh Jesus. Because they can track him, which is good. Unless he's, unless he knows that they can track him. Yeah. <laughs> She's very invested at this point. Yeah. All right. Say goodbye to your spine there, David. Huh? Ugh. The fuck is this? Is Do this they a kill feeding him? ground? No, no, no. They kill the. They bring people here, kill them, and then make the little things out of them. Oh, they're making it look like it was him. Shit! Shit. Is this really happening? This isn't happening. There's no way. 
There's some re reused animation from the first episode as well. You Holy shit! It's the first episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this isn't happening. Is it a memory, possibly, from the implant? No, n no that this guy makes these. He probably put one- probably put that one in for him. Like, hooked him up to it. Makes these what? The what the little, uh, like, p people, dead people's, like, me memories. That's, that's what they're talking about. That's what this guy does. The guy that took him, he, like, takes their memories and makes m things that put put into people and they experience the whole thing. I guess I didn't pick up on that part. I thought I thought he made software to run the um the uh the implants, but I I I misunderstood. No, that's yeah. That, remember he was watching that one at the very start, and it was made by this guy. No, not me. Oh yes, you too. Another couple of tangos with Max Attack, and your brain will pop like a party balloon. <laughs> no way. You gonna force me to watch that VD again? No. Stop. Cut it out. No. Stop. Eyes on the dude. Focus. Keep going. I love this track. She like jump up there and like grab one of them and push it into the ground or something. Shit. She did it. She did it. Ooh, nice. What are you gonna do about the other fifty? <laughs> okay. Okay. White flag. White flag my ass. Prepare to breathe your last little shit stain. Keep an eye on him. Not a second out of his sight. <laughs> I like to apologize. Not a right? second out of your sight. <laughs> turns the other way immediately. Kind of surprised. Son's being discharged from the hospital tonight. Your standard still in the is hospital. The sensitivity, the real fear is Mr. Kurosaki. My patience is running thin. Unfortunate is right. Yeah, would have made our job a whole lot easier with you chin deep and beady titties. <laughs> Who are you? Don't try nothing. The arrogance. I really am sorry. Do you have any idea? Calling. Huh? Forget it. <laughs> We've got a jammer up. A thorough plan, I see. Oh. 
His shit is constantly yeah. malfunctioning. Looney Tunes shit. Oh no. Did he get got by one of those little? Yeah. Must have called a needle. Oh. Stood there like a fucking gong. Sucks to be him. There's nothing they can do. Looks like he won't be around to edit his own death row. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking terrifying. Uh, Come on, Tama finds us here. We're dead. That was freaky. That's really... I don't even know how to feel about that. <laughs> I don't even know how to feel about that. Jesus. That's it? I guess so. Damn. That was weird. I mean, in a good way. <laughs> Not weird in a bad way. Yeah. God damn. Well... That was a crazy episode. A lot of foreshadowing this mm -hmm. episode. This whole episode is about like what where is this going to end up? Do you really are you really committed to what you're doing? Are you really yeah. You really think that you can Are you sure you're uh, different cuz you're probably not and this is how it's yeah. probably going to end up? You have I'm a sure choice. Sure everyone thinks that they're different. I'm yeah. sure no one, you know, would get that if they thought, "Oh, 100% in 2 months I'm going to go crazy and, you know, kill kill a bunch of people." Yeah, cuz the whole point is this guy is seen so much death and he's seen he's basically w watched people's lives unfold like when he he edits all this shit and thank you for pointing that out to me by the way i, I was i was kind of confused in the intro and they were kind of describing what this mm. guy did but um yeah it's it's like we see this whole shelf room while he's captured of all of these different like movies basically that he has edited down so he's he has more footage than that so he's gone through all like so many cyber psychos lives and so many people's lives and uh, edited them into, you know, experiences for people. So he he is kind of an authority on how these things go. Yeah. And um, he's basically the the trickster self character archetype, essentially. And he's he's kind of presenting the main character with a with a. A pro with a choice or with kind of illuminating the truth to them that's kind of his his purpose in the story and he's he's yeah he's just he's also seen death so many times that when he dies he dies with a smile it's kind of creepy just yeah throws yeah. out one more creepy look yeah just to mess with them yeah that's 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 interesting yeah th that so what he showed to him was like kind of i think what he does for all these rich guys that come in, they get it tuned so that it's themselves, mm -hmm. not just like what, like you know, from a, from another perspective. And it's clearly so much more uh, like mentally taxing and fucked up. Yeah, because um, it's you. It's, yeah, you're because not just... he had seen almost all of this other guy's stuff, and even when he saw the same one, but it was himself, you know, he felt everything on, on another level. Yeah. It was just messing him up so bad. Yeah, yeah. and you, well, you another thing as far as progress this episode is you can really tell how much Lucy really does care about David already. Mm -hmm. Like she, her, the way she's approaching the situation is so different than how she approached it when say they were in the ambulance. Yeah. How it was all a fucking game and how it's all just like silliness. Mm -hmm. it, this time it's not a game at all. Like what, how, how close he is to yeah. death and uh, how in danger he is. It's not funny to her at all mm -hmm. anymore. So that's something it shows that she really does care and it's not just like some kind of another double cross like like what happens yeah. in, in the uh, the second episode also the fact that now they have that guy he and he wants david which guy the I, I forget what his name is the guy that they captured at the end tanaka tanaka yeah they they have him apparently his son just got out of the hospital he must have been in there for a while i mean yeah he's he got pretty, beaten up by like beat a, up. by military grade hardware yeah absolutely fucking destroyed so i wonder what he's going to do if cuz if he can you know escape or whatever, then he'll know where David is and what what the deal is and how how he can kind of capture him. Because mm -hmm. um, I don't think David would go like he's not gonna go willingly to their little project. He doesn't care about that. Yeah. So they're gonna have to try to kidnap him, or if they decide that he's not gonna go for it, they might just try to get rid of him. 
who are you talking about at this point? The guy that they already captured at the end of the episode? Yeah, like if he they gets- They captured him. Yeah, I'm saying if he gets loose or if he, he you know, contacts someone else, because uh, because they're looking for David so that they can experiment on him. Oh, right, right. Um, I don't think he'll get loose. I don't think he'll get loose. Yeah, I- I, I, I don't see how he could. Like they, they, they have, they have two net runners. Is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. uh, Lucy and that other chick. Kiwi. Kiwi, yes. And, uh, or wait, is Kiwi the big girl or the slim one with the mask on? I think she's on? a slim one. Anyway, they, they have multiple people to jam any outgoing signals unless he, unless like he left something with somebody saying, if I don't come back, then go here, but they wouldn't know where they yeah. were. So, you know, there's no way to know what's going on with him. So I, I think that they're going to get information and probably either kill him or they'll they'll use some leverage on him. They'll blackmail him. I don't think that they'll, uh, I mean, he, he'll, he, I think, I, actually, you know, I think you're right. They, he, I think he'll get out of the situation, but mm -hmm. where it goes from there is going to be hard to see. Because I, I, I don't, I don't see. think David is, like they've, you know, they did a lot of talking about how, how they want David. I don't think he's out of the woods yet in terms of people coming at him from that angle. I mean, if you th if there's one thing of like, oh, uh, he's a good test subject, and another thing of my life's in danger and these people kidnapped me, yeah. so fuck them. Like, I, 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 you know, it only goes so far mm -hmm. in that way. But we'll see, cause, cause with what um, Kurosaki set up this episode, He's talking about like the more you get chromed out, the more uh, you lose your humanity, the more you lose your humanity, basically. The more machine you come, mm -hmm. the less of a human you are. And uh, eventually go, you'll go insane because there's nothing holding you to reality. Yeah, and, and, um, and he was also putting him through um, that video again to try to make him go crazy. Yeah. To like put, put him under such stress that his, that his, like his human body kind of like gives out and then, you know, all, all his enhancements can kind of take over in that way. Yeah. And and also, um, we're, we're seeing a lot of malfunctions. With uh, Maine, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's clear foreshadowing. It's gonna, it's going to, it's going to either malfunction in the, in the critical moment where he's going to have to save David again mm -hmm. and die, or it will work in the moment and he'll sacrifice himself. Either way, yeah. Maine's going down. And I think it's, I think what's happening with me, I think as far as predictions, I think we have enough to predict like long-term shit. My prediction is with the way that Maine's talking to David about, cause the original advice was like, look out for yourself. Then it's like, oh, get chromed out to become stronger. And he's like kind of pushing him and Lucy together. If they're setting up Maine to be sacrificed or go down to protect David mm -hmm. and with his sort of, um, mentorship for for David, I think that maybe he will sacrifice himself for David and then David will get multi get chromed out, maybe take his shit or yeah. uh, or get upgraded to the same level as main and then sacrifice himself physically, if not mentally. I think he'll die before he goes full cyber psycho unless he goes cyber psycho in the moment to like protect mm -hmm. um, Lucy from the final confrontation, whatever that may be. like and then she'll he'll end up like sending her to the moon or some shit. That's mm -hmm. how I think this is all gonna work out. That's kind of my main prediction yeah. for the rest I of wonder, the show. I wonder, like, I don't, I don't think so because it seems like it's a just like a one piece of the puzzle, like malfunctioning. But if Maine could go, like, turn into a cyber psycho, I'm not True. sure. You know, like that could, it could be start because we haven't really seen the process of it. We've seen people like full on, completely gone, not even there. But we haven't seen, we don't know anything about, is it a gradual thing? Is it just not a gradual thing? There's no precursor, just one day, yeah. it just happens. Or like pieces of you, like you don't have full control over your own body anymore. Like we, we don't really know much about that. So it could be sort of a precursor. He's losing control over his arm mechanics. If that spreads to the rest of him, what what does that, what does that mean if David David has to sort of maybe even kill his own mentor because he is, you know, attacking Lucy or someone else in the group. Yeah. We don't, we don't know what, we, I feel, I feel like we don't know enough about it to like say whether or not that's, could be what's happening, but it, it could be. Yeah. I, I think that's, that's possible as well. Like I, I think main dying is almost inevitable, mm -hmm. but, um. The manner of which. As, yeah. Well, especially with, um, how, how they talked about. Oh, you want these fucking hand, these lanky, fingery hands? 
no, I got my eyes on something else, looks at him like, you know, oh, well, if I die, it's like, how much more of a death flag do you need? <laughs> it's mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's transparent, but that, sometimes it's not bad, because not everything has to be a mystery with, with storytelling. It, it's not always, usually it being a always, mystery. If you try to make it too much of a surprise, then sometimes you're just like, making it making things that don't make sense or track with the story because you're just trying to pull one over on the audience yeah. like you're just trying to make everything a surprise well and not every not like if you're what if what you're trying to do is build anticipation then like you know usually the best way to build anticipation is like showing something to be p probable mm -hmm. and that but what but the thing is not what people want to happen. So you're like, the audience is sitting there like, I know this is going to happen. I know that this is probably yeah. how things are going to turn out, but I, I'm everything in me is hoping that that's not mm -hmm. what happens. And then at the very end, you can possibly pull a switcheroo depending on how you set it up. So, yeah. you know, it's who, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. It doesn't matter if, if it's fully telegraphed. In fact, it's usually better if it's telegraphed and I'm, I'm excited to see how Maine will eventually die. <laughs> Leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one, I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.